the set of slides is about elasticity and this specific presentation is about elastic and inelastic demand and supply curves. So here we have a demand curve we can see that we have a movement along the demand curve from E1 to E2. The price increases from 10 to 15 and due to that there is a decrease in the quantity demanded from 230 to 50. So if we calculate the percentage change in the quantity, let's say that is the change in quantity, divided by the original quantity, which is 230 times 100. So the change in the quantity is 50 minus 230, what it was previously, divided by 230 times 100. So the change in the quantity is minus 180, because there is a decrease in the quantity demanded divided by the original quantity 230 times 100 and that gives us minus 78,26 percent. We calculate the percentage change in price that is the change in price divided by the original price times 100 so the price is now 15, it was 10, so 15 minus 10 divided by the original price times 100, 15 minus 10 is 5 divided by 10, the original price times 100 gives us 50%. So if we now calculate the price elasticity of the mod, it's the percentage change in the quantity minus 78,26% divided by the percentage change in price which is 50% and that gives us minus 1,57. So here we have another demand curve. Uh, as you can see this demand curve is steeper than demand curve D1. We again have an upward movement along the demand curve price increase from 10 to 15 so the same change as on the demand curve D1 but now the quantity decreases from 230 to 130 so the percentage change in quantity is now 130 minus 230 divided by the original quantity 230 times 100 so 130 minus 230 gives you a decrease of 100 minus 100 therefore divided by the original quantity 230 times 100 that is equal to minus 43,48 percent. Percentage change in price exactly as for the previous one. Change in price is from 10 to 15. So the price increase by 5 divided by the original price of 10 times 100, that gives us 50%. So if we now calculate the price elasticity of demand for demand curve D2, this percentage change in quantity is minus 43,48% divided by percentage change in price of 50% that gives us minus 0.87 so we can see that this elasticity of price elasticity of demand is larger than 1 the absolute value is 1.57 so it's an elastic demand while the absolute value here is smaller than 1, 0 0.87 this is inelastic demand so for the elastic demand the change in the quantity 
due to the change in price is larger than it is for the inelastic demand. So we can say in general the less elastic demand, the smaller the change in quantity due to a change in price. So here we have two supply curves and now we're going to compare the more elastic supply curve to the less elastic supply curve. We can see that S2 is more elastic, it has a flatter curve than S1. So for the same change in price, change in the quantity on S2 is larger than the change in the quantity on S1. On S1 the change in quantity is from 80 to 100, so only by 20, while on S2 it changes from 80 to 130, so by 50. As we can say, the more elastic supply is, the larger the change in the quantity due to a specific change in the price.